I'm here at school in the student development studio where we have a Tektronix TDS-210 digital oscilloscope. This is quite an early digital oscilloscope dating from around 1997-98. It's very, oops, it's very small. There's a foot on the bottom to prop it up that I, uh, that I knocked down like that. And uh, it's got a handle on it and it's very light, only a couple pounds. And uh, it's a pretty nice little scope. It's got a couple of uh, couple of quirks. We'll turn it on here. First of all, the LCD display on these wasn't that stellar. It's all right though. Second, a few months after these hit the market, uh, Tektronix actually discovered a fault in them. The uh, grounding, you know, like these, the outside of these BNC connectors are connected to ground. Well, they found that that grounding wasn't uh, very good, as good as it should be. And of course, that's a safety hazard in some circumstances, so they issued a recall. But uh, as you can see, it works. I've got it hooked up to that function generator right there, outputting a sine wave. And I can adjust the frequency, and there you see it's very responsive, very good for an early digital scope. Actually, the, the display is not that bad, in my opinion. I've, According to what I've read, people don't like it, but I think it's all right. And uh, we can put in a triangle wave. There's the triangle wave and a square wave. And uh, we can adjust the horizontal position here. It's not instant when you change the positioning. It takes a fraction of a second. Horizontal position it's pretty responsive. It gives you the relative position there. Vertical position. I forgot to mention this is a 60 megahertz dual channel scope. We can change the, uh, the vertical sensitivity here. So that function generators, let's see, we're on two volts per division, so two, four, six, a little over 12 volts peak to peak. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, turn off channel one here. No, oh, and uh, turn off channel two, I think, or turn on channel two, I think channel two's gotta be on to turn channel one off. Well, there should be a way to turn channel one off, but uh, I can't seem to be able to do it. Uh, we gotta go into the trigger menu and change coupling to AC. Okay, and I've got this probe hooked up to channel two, and that's the probe test right there. If I touch that, oh, it's glitching out. Uh, trigger source channel two. Now channel one's gonna glitch out with channel two, as you can see. And, well, channel one's making a mess. Actually, I'll just unplug it. And there's channel two, which is outputting a square wave. There. So the test, the test terminal and the probe itself do work. We're on two volts per division, so two, four, five. Yeah, right on the, right on the money. So, uh... And of course, because it's a digital scope, I can hit that run stop button, which I'm doing now. And now I have frozen the scope and it has that waveform stored in memory. I'm not touching anything anymore. And then when I press run stop again, it goes back to a live display. Other than that, it's uh, pretty basic controls. It does have yeah, it does have measurement functions, so if you stick in a waveform, I'll put the uh, function generator back in. 
and uh, I got to get it to trigger on that again. There we go. So, well, actually, it's already doing it right there. Uh, 2.56 volts. Um, that's not peak. I don't know what that is. That's not the voltage that's uh, coming in. Oh, what am I doing? I obviously don't know how to use this thing. Well, I don't know how to get it to show anything. But, uh, hey, it works. And it's a neat little, tiny little early digital oscilloscope. They're, uh, they're pretty neat. Handy little scope. Be a good first scope for someone. Although, obviously, it's got a slight learning curve to it. More than, uh, analog scopes, but, uh, it's a pretty neat scope. So, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. The Tektronics TDS-210 digital oscilloscope from 1997-98.